Hey everyone, and let's talk about the Apple Watch Power Reserve versus Low Power Mode. Because it may seem that it's the same thing, but it really isn't. Although the objective is to save battery in both, but it's not really the same. The difference is in the watchOS that your Apple Watch runs. This Apple Watch runs on the watchOS 9, which is the latest big version. You can of course go ahead and check it out in the software update section. So yeah, your Apple Watch is up to date and it runs the watchOS 9. So in watchOS 9, Apple added the low power mode. It works in a similar way as on the iPhone. So if you swipe up from the home screen, then click on the percentage, here is the low power mode. If you enable this, everything is gonna turn yellow. As a first, you have a quick explanation. So you can save battery life by limiting the sensors as well as the cellular and Wi-Fi connections of your Apple Watch. So here, as you can see, here are all the things that are uh, turned off. For example, background heart rate measurements, uh, incoming notifications may be delayed, and you can turn it on or turn it on for one day, two days, or three days. So let's say I'm gonna turn it on like this, and now everything, you can see this icon is yellow, and this battery widget is yellow. And we also have this little circle there, which is yellow to indicate that you are on the low power mode. Not only those things that were mentioned are gonna be disabled, but for example, you know that when you start walking, the Apple Watch is gonna ask you if you actually want to record that workout. In the low power mode, it's not gonna happen. It's just not gonna listen to your uh, activity and stuff. So you have to manually add in the stuff. Background app refresh may be uh, like disabled. So when you open up weather, you need to wait for the information to show up. So it's not gonna be like ready for you there. I mean, just like on your iPhone, the low power mode may be useful. And once you place the Apple Watch on a charger and wait for it to charge past 80%, then it's gonna be automatically disabled. So 80% is like the limit in which your Apple Watch is like sufficiently charged by definition. So this is the low power mode. It's not available in any older version of watchOS. So if you don't have your Apple Watch updated, you don't even have this feature. But the difference is that the power reserve mode is here in the older versions instead of the low power mode. And what it does is that it simply turns off your Apple Watch. The only thing that you will see is just the time. So it's gonna like disable every single feature of your Apple Watch. It's not even gonna be a smartwatch anymore. And the power reserve mode, which no longer really exists, is like a feature that disables all the things. It just shows you the time. And it doesn't even show it to you every time you flick your wrist. You just have to press any button, wait like three seconds, and then the time shows up. It goes uh, away, and then this is the whole functionality of the watch. So that's the difference. WatchOS 9, the low power mode, which allows you to use the Apple Watch normally with just limited stuff to save battery, but uh, power reserve mode in the older versions like completely disables every single function of the watch besides the time. Right now, if you just run out of the battery of this Apple Watch running WatchOS 9, you can still get technically to the power reserve mode. That means that if you run out of, you can see 85% of battery, once you hit zero, the Apple Watch will no longer be able to function, but it can still show you the time. So it would technically be the power reserve mode. It just doesn't exist really as a definition. So yeah, hopefully I explained it to you. It's not really that difficult to understand or anything, but some people may be confused, especially new people to Apple Watch or people updating to Watch OS 9 may be like confused what's really going on. So hope this video helped you out. For more Apple Watch videos, click on this one right here. Subscribe to the Fox Tech YouTube channel and we can see each other in the next one.